What's up, Formless Void? Stupid. Separated families. Uh, no. We are gonna keep them split. Captain's Mine. An outpost here can give you more coal. Bro, I love coal. Holy shit, do I love coal. Um, outfit and expedition over here. Tesla City. Go ahead. Repair the automatons. Our scouts are confident they could repair the automatons to work in New London. No, we take the cores, I think, right? Yeah. Take whatever you can. Okay, we'll come back to these other places later. We gotta keep the people separated from their children. Children are terrible for production, chat. Productivity of humans goes down significantly when they have kids. Yeah. Yeah, we want to run macro builds. Kids require too much micro. We want you to micro your macro instead. We have no time for games. Yeah, we're only really, um, we're only employing kids, like, we have school and stuff, dude. This game is, like, I've, I've grown soft. We have, like, school and stuff for these people now. Is that insane? The state is your family. Wow. I got chills, Ramble. That's beautiful. Well said. Uh, pharmaceuticals on an asylum. Hmm. A pharmaceutical testing laboratory. A facility outfit, uh, outfitted to conduct large-scale medical tests on different subjects in order to develop and manufacture innovative medicine. Love it. Big fan. Bring it in. Bring it in. Are we gonna vote on this? Doctors should always look to develop and put into practice cutting-edge pioneering treatments. Obviously. The fuck do you mean? The research speed is increased. We unlock new abilities. Disease is marginally decreased. You don't want to be the first patient? Uh, you wouldn't notice. You would not be able to tell the difference. There would be no way to know. Yugian wants to be experimented on. See? Hear ye, hear hear ye, ye the delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. Perfect. Yeah, we'll have to make sure that we can uh, we can blame everything on the pilgrims later. Yo, Gruben! All hail Emperor Loco. Thank you very much, welcome back. Scrubbing a shirt lost in her thoughts. Annie Evans, 15 years old. I miss her. Go on in, she said. I'll join you later. I was deemed useful. My only merit is that I'm young and fit. Haven't lost a hand to frostbite providing for my family. Life here is so much better than out there, but I miss her. Every day I lose more hope. Will I ever see you again, Mom? You refuse to relax the allow productive outsiders to allow family members to join their kin. Yeah, crying is highly unproductive. Highly.
People are very complainy. They don't really love the idea of. Oh look, I don't want to be doing this. Oh, look. Uh, they don't really, they don't really want to do it. Um, I will go ahead and create an outpost for research speed over here. We will have to run a. There you go, a little line. Do my scouts die if they're out there while the storm is going? I don't know. I can still... Oh, no, no, no. I can't go here. Okay. Interesting. We can't go everywhere. So this is all blocked by the storm. It's all prefabs for the for New London. That's kind of sick. Yeah. Okay, more outposts. What a great idea. The Rowood Expedition Possible Settlement. Fire up the radio tower and better equip our scouts for what lies ahead. We may construct an outpost here to assist our exploration. Okay. Dude, I'm just doing outposts today. I'm an outpost man. I didn't realize waking up this morning that I, uh, I became an outpost man, but I apparently am an outpost man. There's another one. We will connect that one to that one. Take the Frostlanders in. Bring them in, bring them in. Everybody's welcome. The place is dead, we should move on. Oh, so this is the Ruins of Winter home, right over here. I will go to the High Pass, mostly because I know there's a, um, a hot spring over there. That's really good. More people in low copia. All right. I need to start some more settlements. Yo, Mutlases. Huge. Thank you very much. Gifting 10 community subs and then Twitch apparently doubled down with five gift subs. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Motless has heard of my beautiful Frostpunk society that I'm creating. Motless is, Motless is, listen to this. This is what I've got. I am describing my settlement in three words, okay? You ready? Capitalism. Coal. Oil. All the things you love. All the things you love. We're putting the cap in capitalism though. Yeah, we are we are we are capping. Um like I I'm no no cap. Um Put in a kappa and capitalism? Um, sure. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the songs of Loco. Everybody loves me in this game, dude. It's insane. I'm putting the sus in sustainability. Secretarius! Thank you very much. The Loperer is at it again. The Loperer. Mm. That's... I don't know about Loperer. Thank you very much. Everyone loves me. A, a number of pilgrims have mysteriously disappeared. That can happen. That can happen to anybody. It's time for uh, the steward's militia. The steward may bolster the ranks of the guards by recruiting hardened fighters from communities. 
I don't really need this, but it's one step in the right direction, you know? This is a great, great choice, chat. I recommend you vote I. Let me do a little bit of negotiating. You guys are mostly against? Okay, we'll do Frostlanders first. This one is big. An untreated sawmill. I really don't need this shit. Okay, I guess we'll do Pathfinder Scouts. Um... Accept all outsiders? No, we'll grant you guys the agenda. I believe this is enough. I think this is all we need. Vote! Easy pass. The proposed law has been approved. Hey, nice, Echo. Big day. Okay, the pilgrims are a little bit upset at me. So I will give them the agenda. Trust rises. I don't think you trust in my raising of the funds. I cry when Loco raises his funds. Father! Do 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 hands, I demand your spirit. Why have you forsaken me? How are you guys doing over here? Very poorly. Okay, nice. You love to see it. Or not. You got just transported back 15 years? System of a Down is a banger, dude. There's like a bunch of songs that I think I will always like. And that one album from System of a Down, whatever it's called, like that one is a, is, is, is really nice. I'm not a big metal guy, no. I used to listen to a lot of metal. I was thinking about that recently. I have got a lot of metal in my playlist. So I've got like one playlist with songs that I really like, right? And whenever, I don't really listen to a ton of music. I usually listen to the music in a car. And very frequently, whenever we go anywhere, we go to get her. And Laurent's always skipping my metal songs, dude. She does not like my... So I just don't listen to them very much. I've just gotten soft. Yeah. I have I have just gotten... My System of a Down gets skipped. My Breaking Benjamin gets skipped. Red flag. <laughs> System of a Down is not metal. Okay, look, I don't give a shit in what category any music is in. I know this is one of the most popular pastime activities of metalheads to discuss which category a certain metal group is in. Oh, actually, oh, Metallica is not even metal. It's hard rock. It's, I don't give. I don't care. I. I. I don't know. Yeah, as long as we can all agree that Nickelback is like death metal, I don't care about anything else. Nickelback is like my favorite death metal band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I that's what I like to do. Look at this photograph. It makes me laugh. Da 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 pa pa pa. Da 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 the pleasure comments help people to cope. Hmm. Paul the matchstick maker is gonna propose to a lady from the pleasure comments. 
Who's gonna tell Paul? Paul looks like the oldest 22 year old that I've ever seen, man. Maybe this is what it helps. Uh, what happens when you live in the... Uh... He's putting clean socks on. Paul, what are you doing with the other socks? <clears throat> Guys, if there's one thing you need to know, is that the ladies from the pleasure comments will never be in love with you, man. It's not... That is not... No. No, that is... No, that's... I No, no, no. No, no. Sorry. Even if she says you're her favorite? Well, then it's probably true. Because lying in Locopia is illegal. Yeah, no, that's illegal. Loco, it's different. I'm better, I'm stronger. Okay, then. Cinnamon said she loved me, Loco. C Cinnamon? Well, I mean, then it, it's gotta be true. Oh, it always switches back. We don't actually want that. We want this, brother. yeah. Um, can I maybe do some more industrial? So I'm saving my course until I know what the task is for the next uh, chapter. I don't know what my main objective will be. Look, I just found out how I'm gonna die. <laughs> no! Bro, what? They released a new motorcycle? You just found out how you're gonna die? No, 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 program. Stop it. Don't go fruit room too hard. Ooh, young blood. Experimental treatment. Okay, guys, hold up. Stuart, a young doctor named Doug Hauser, has come to us with a complaint. The chief physician at my clinic hasn't developed any new treatment in months. What's worse, whenever I propose one myself, he always delays for, quote, more analysis. Meanwhile, our patients languish. Hauser argues, under the exper tre uh, experimental treatment law, the chief physician should be replaced. By Hauser, of course. He has the stool or the stalwart. Yeah, of course. Replace him. Maybe the young doctor's boldness will lead to some breakthroughs. Absolutely, replace that man. Get him out of here. A hundred pilgrims have mysteriously disappeared. Perfect. Hey, we have the uh, the old Tesla City setup. That is fun. Research speed is greatly increased. Ah. So we have a load of settlements now, though. This is fun. Yeah, so a lot of these places are now blocked by the storm, which is uh, a little annoying. Uh, 23 required to go to this area. Okay, sure. Nine for this one. All right, perfect. How much are motorcycles like that? Like, you linked a fancy-ass motorcycle from Honda. How much? I have no clue how much a motorcycle costs. I've never cared about motorcycles personally, but I know some people love these things. 32,000? And how does this, like, rank? Like, is this, like, top-end or mid-end? Or, like, how does this work? For 32,000, do you get, like... The absolute cream of the crop? This is tippity toppity? Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, 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 okay. So this isn't like, it's not like cars, you know? Like cars are, cars get very fucking expensive. With 32k, they provide the coffin too. Oh, okay, nice. Hey, Biggle, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Well, I, I know there's folks out there, right? Like, people that have a lot of money that, like, fucking spend that much money on the wheels on their fucking supercar. Right? Like, <laughs> people spend insane money on some stuff. Alright, I see. 
If you lived in Europe, you would get a bike over a car. Europe is one of my favorite countries. I love Europe. God, there's just something about Europe. Did I do this for a quest? Oh, I promised this to the Frostlanders. All right. Let's get it. I don't know. I'm always kind of scared of, uh, especially like I feel like motorcycles are kind of cool if you don't drive on the the motorway, like on the on the highway. You always have those guys on motorcycles on the highway in particular that just drive like idiots, man. I feel like those people kind of ruin it for a lot of others, though. Like no protective clothing, just a helmet, you know, like just jeans and everything, and then driving like an idiot. Weaving in between traffic and all that. I'm sure it feels awesome, but uh, I don't know It's very common though in the Netherlands when especially like when the weather gets nice There's a lot of people that go like touring, you know on like a motorcycle. I feel like that's kind of fun The motorbikes come out again They take the nice uh, the nice roads The bike I just linked can can ride 180 kilometers an hour in first gear. Ah, okay. What about uh, electric motorcycles? Is that a thing? I've seen them like years ago. Because electric cars are fucking fast. What about electric motorcycles? Are those not common at all? They exist? Not popular? Because electric cars are very popular over here, but I don't know. Not at all popular? One in a hundred, maybe? Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, we have great public transport in the Netherlands, so we don't really need to use cars, but, uh... Cars are much cheaper than public transport. I'll tell you that much. It depends on how frequently you travel and whether or not your work provides help and all that, but... If you occasionally take public transport, it is very expensive. Like, if you have, like, a... Like a like a like a specific route that you can take you can take like discounts and stuff but cars cheaper than public transport oh yeah it depends on where you go obviously right but public transport in the netherlands is pretty pricey in france it's much cheaper yeah that's good That is nice. We should do something similar. <laughs> it was awesome as a student, though. Like, as a student, I could do free public, free, uh, public transport through the entire country. Which was really nice. It obviously depends on what you do, right? No, I actually didn't really make use of it at all. I had free public transport. And then I didn't make use of it at all. Guys, I'm all out of oil before the freaking whiteout is here. I don't even think I could have changed anything. I have been gathering as much as I can. Um, I'm a little afraid that it's going to be fucked. 
No, I don't think- I think- I think I'm fine. I have a, a massive stockpile from gathering that I did earlier. I don't think I could have really gathered more than this. I could have made- maybe make like a different research? I have 186,000 stockpile of coal though. Oh, dude. In the Netherlands, right, this is actually a big problem right now. Um, so this is currently something that the Dutch politicians are voting on. Uh, they actually just voted for it the other day. It's become very popular for kids in the Netherlands to have bicycles that look like this. They're called fat bikes and they have very thick tires and they're fully electric. So they drive fucking fast. These things are fast and heavy as shit and you don't need a license, you don't need anything. You have a lot of kids that are like 11 years old that are going to school on these things. Um, people love them in the Netherlands, but they're obviously fucking dangerous. Uh, so they're actually trying to figure out a way to either ban them or require a driver's license or something like that. But it turns out it's really difficult to make a law that would specifically prohibit these type of bicycles. Like, so I think what they're currently voting on is a certain tire thickness. <laughs> So, it has to be over a certain, like, I think in a certain weight category or something like that. Um, or you have to be, like, over the age of 18 or something like it. How fast do they go? I think they go, like, 30 kilometers an hour. Like, 20 miles an hour. So, they go pretty fast. And in, like, the, the, the posher areas of, of, the, of the country, they're apparently, like, this is the only thing that kids drive to, like, or ride to, like, high school and stuff. So, imagine like a parking lot with like, you know, a thousand of these fuckers. Because... <laughs> it's actually kind of nuts. I, uh... We don't see them a ton where I live. Like, they're here, but like, it's not, a, it's not crazy common. But apparently, especially in like the, the city centers and stuff, it goes kind of nuts. Yeah. They're expensive too, man. Like, the cheapest ones are like... At least a thousand euro. So I don't really know exactly, uh... Apparently they're very common on schools, but uh... Yeah, so this is what they look like. So this is apparently the Dutch police. <laughs> Doing a speed check for a bicycle. Is it more... Can you get more Dutch than this? Very nice. Yeah, they're big. They're big. So, like, imagine 11 year olds driving 30 kilometers an hour. Um, obviously, not really fully aware of, uh, like, the, I don't know how fucking, how much these things weigh, but they're not gonna be, they're not gonna be, uh, these are basically electric mopeds, I guess. At least they don't make noise. I like that part. They're, they're basically silent. No, there's no stopping for signs. There's very little passing for old people. Like, yeah, it's, it's... You can't hear them coming? No, 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 that you can't. At least they don't wake me up, but... Very common right now. Do they not come with a bell? Uh, well, yeah. Now, there are laws. Uh, for, uh, you know, people that are out in traffic, right? There are laws, believe it or not. Very commonly followed by cars. Very commonly followed by motorcycles. Cyclists, however, and people, just pedestrians and stuff, people on foot. Yeah. Less commonly followed. <laughs> Very infrequently taken care <laughs> oh, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a mess. So one thing they're also discussing, to try and see if they can figure out a way to get rid of this, uh, is to make it so that you can only use electric bicycles while wearing a bicycle helmet. And if it's still in high school the same way as it is when I was in high school, like when, when I was in high school, it was the most embarrassing shit ever if you had a cycling helmet on. Safety? Ugh, better make fun of that kid. No, 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 no. Going to Dutch schools wearing a cyclist helmet? That is, uh, that is very cringe, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, it is worth it. It's, it's definitely worth it, but, uh... Definitely not a, not a thing you could do when I was in high school. Like, that would be, you were setting yourself up for disaster at that point. 
So they're thinking about making that like a, a forced thing? I don't know. Going to high school in a motorcycle helmet made it cool? Oh, there you go. You used to be cool, sis Edmund. Must be a long time ago. Must be a long time ago. But yeah, now I think they voted on... Um, let me see. Um, I'm not exactly sure. So there, there are there are passing specific laws. Regels for an elektrische fiets. So this is for an electric bicycle. No driver's license. Uh, no, what do you call this? Like a license plate. No reason for a, a helmet. No reason for any sort of insurance. No minimum like uh, minimum age. Maximum speed of 25 kilometers an hour. Maximum wattage, apparently, okay. Not allowed to use your phone. You're technically not allowed to use your phone when you're on a bicycle in the Netherlands. They did pass that law years ago. Um, again, one of those laws that is pretty much always ignored. But yeah. That page looks broken. No, 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 it's just Dutch. It's just Dutch. Um I don't know, chat. I think we're against this. I think we don't like this. I don't remember exactly what I had currently. Um Oh yeah, we have merit-based housing? No, that's not it. This is contagion prevention. Oh, we don't actually have anything yet for contagion. Okay, no, we can... Um... No, that's not what this is. What the fuck are we voting on? Oh no, that is what it is. Okay, now we can vote for. We can vote for. It's fine. Oh, I clicked the button too quick. Sorry. <laughs> Hope you click quickly. God, you guys were slow. I gave you half a second, Chet. Jeez, I was just testing your reaction speeds. Terrible, terrible reaction speeds. This is what you get for not playing StarCraft. Alright. If you guys were still actively doing your 10 ladder games every day, you would have like snap called that one immediately. Your APM would have been so high. Are you on a bicycle at the moment? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I got a grant agenda. There you go. These guys are pretty happy with me now. That's good. These guys are pretty happy. Can I, um... There you go. Give me some more stewards militia. I can assign the secret police and improve their standing. I would like you guys to... There you go. Bring some dudes to the militia. I would like to assign the secret police and improve your standing. I would like you to be promoted. I would like you to be promoted. Oh my god, dude. Everybody loves them. How did that possibly happen? A little bit of... A little bit of sway. In the opinion of people. That's beautiful. <sighs> A little bit of swag? Dude, I don't think we use the word swag anymore. Okay, I hope I'm gonna, like, not die, guys. I hope I'm not gonna die during the whiteout. I'm gonna just speed ahead, I think. Dude, I have so much of a stockpile. Will last for 20 weeks. I think I'm gonna run out right in the middle of the fucking thing. This is terrible. Doc Hauser, the doctor whom you recently allowed to rise to the rank of chief physician, is proud to announce his clinic has discovered a new cure. He gave his patients the extract of a certain mold, and the vast majority recovered. 
Bro, did this guy just invent penicillin? That's amazing. I don't trust in mold. What about we do this? Yeah, we'll turn on the overdrive. You have no reason. By your leave. Stuart, the pilgrims have decided to send their strongest travelers out before the whiteout to search the surrounding area for supplies. The fuck? All right, sure, I guess. I don't, I have plenty of food. Do I? Yeah, kind of. The new word for Riz is Aura? Really? Hey, Loco, I saw Harstam here in Bulgaria. And at first sight, I thought it was you who entered the tournament. <laughs> All Dutch guys look the same, dude. It's true. All Dutch guys look the same. Big true. Is there even any difference, honestly? Me and Harstam, like, have you guys ever seen me and Harstam in the same room at the same time? I might be Harstam, is all I'm saying. Oh, you, you have, okay. But still though. Okay, we're gonna try and survive the whiteout, guys. Uh, sure. You, you've seen, okay, you've seen many times. Okay. All right, never mind then. <laughs> I just assumed old Dutch StarCraft 2 streamers are the same person. Hmm. Yeah, me, Roddy, Harstam, Euthermal, the Grubby. We're basically all the same person. <laughs> same AI, different skins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't talk about human skins, bro. Jeez Louise. You're fucked. Maybe I should get more oil. I should have maybe researched this, guys. Food energy efficiency? I I think I think I should have been going in this direction. Yeah, we need more pump jacks. Hit the pump jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more at the pump, Jack. Uh, I have seven weeks of this shit. Oh god, it's gonna get real cold. Uh... Maybe it's fine? No, it's not fine. People are gonna get a little bit angry at me, guys. People, people are gonna get a little bit upset. We can do a bit of voting, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do a little bit of voting right now. Pathfinding scouts. Um. Maybe, we, maybe in the middle of all of this, we can go ahead and sign m martial law. The steward may declare martial law during which guards will erect check <laughs> erect checkpoints to enforce a curfew and curtailing all illicit activities. Guys! What a great idea! What a great fucking idea! Yes! Of course! This will allow me to erect checkpoints. What else what else do you want? This is, this is a br brilliant idea, brilliant idea, honestly. Uh vote four, and I will give you guys. This. Vote in my favor. Come on. Listen, everyone. New law in the city. Hear ye. Hear ye. The delegates have 
broken. The law takes effect. My memes are cold, I'm wondering why. I got out of bed at all. Alright, it's really fucking cold though. It's minus 110. And I am out of oil. I am out of coal. Till human voices wake us. Stuart, there has been an unusual development. Some stalwart elders claim the winds of the whiteout call for them to ease the city of their burden that the gale is strong enough to carry them to the afterlife. They request we cease caring for them. Effectively, they are asking for assisted Sudoku. The stalwarts blame the pilgrim caretakers for planting these ideas. My nan never gave two shits about heaven before, one said. Now she's gonna be some sort of martyr? They've been asking for death for months in this whiteout, the pilgrim pushed back. If they actually visited their elders, they'd know that. Um. The stalwart elders will be refused proficients and allowed to die. Sure. Uh, this should be over in a couple weeks, gamers. Uh, I know it's minus 110, but just maybe get another sweat, like, like like another sweater, maybe, or like a, like a sleeping bag or something. Maybe like stitch them together, you know. Uh, I think that'd be a great idea. Uh, we want to turn that thing off. Yes, it is off. A hundred pilgrims have mysteriously disappeared and 225 people have frozen to death. A new passive boost. Nothing's happening, don't worry about it. Everything's going well. Generator upgrade. Maybe we should have gotten that a little while ago. Yeah, that would have been good. Uh, we have some things that need repairing. What about my other settlement? Are you guys doing okay? Oh, you guys are fucking booming over here. What the hell? You guys are comfy and happy. <laughs> At the old Dreadnought, everybody's kind and having a good time. Another one gone, just like that. 225 people froze to death. Okay, it's almost over. Gamers, rejoice! The storm leaves and all negative effects are removed. And you look at that, chat. At the end of the whiteout, we magically have 60 more... Communities that have houses available. That is that is amazing. That is amazing. How does that even work? How does that happen? Nobody knows. It could have been anything. It could have been anything. All right. So can we get those resources coming back in again, please? Uh, I really do need you guys to bring in as much as possible, though, please. Alright, well, I guess that's as much as possible. It's still minus 60 degrees, by the way, which is kind of chilly. Yeah, the solution to homelessness is really easy to solve. It's really not hard at all. I don't really understand why so many governments around the world seem to be struggling, man. Okay, so this is the next chapter. Ice turns to steam as the whiteout wanes, but the return of the whiteouts has sobered even the brashest amongst us. Hey, Grey Fox. Thank you very much. 55. Bumsicles. Bumsicles? Sure. Thank you. We cannot rely on just one city to survive, the pilgrims argue. The whiteouts are still a danger. We must settle strong, sheltered locations, and there's nothing stronger than a site with foundations of a generator in a place like Winterhome. 
a cursed place, but large enough to support a growing population, the roots of its generator still hold strong in the frozen earth. We must change our planaritos. Here we go. Next chapter. Chapter Dry. Return to Winterhall. Alright, past the gorge in the Cursed Valley lies the failed city of Winterholm. Our scouts have avoided the ruins for years, yet it's the only place we know that can support our second city. We must reach for Winterholm and charge the area around it. We should take the time to prepare resources and workforce. Returning to Winterholm will pose significant challenges. Yup! Yeah, buddy! Yup! Can we uh, send the stuff? We need the stuff. A lot of sick people. Okay, so we want to rebuild this one later, but we have to meet with these guys first. Send some folks in that direction, please. It took me much longer to get to this point last time, yes. We're gonna disable some of these neighborhoods. Because we have a lot of places here that are gathering food and whatnot, but um, we don't need that much food. I will do a bit of a surplus of food, but we don't need that much. Are these already all fully de deactivated? No, this one's still on, okay. I have plenty of prefabs. I never seem to run out of prefabs. The game is always very focused on prefabrications, but it doesn't seem to do shit. We can run this uh, like this, it's fine. The stockpile is full, but it's all right. Okay, so all of this has been signed. We have everything done as far as the voting goes. We just gotta keep doing uh, the research. So a new building proposed, do we have to vote for it? No, it's proposed, but that means it already exists. So that's the generator upgrade. I will go ahead and do that. I don't know if there's gonna be another whiteout. I honestly don't think so, but I guess it's not a terrible idea. Eat dispatch. I don't like to eat dispatch. Cost me a slot. Um. Outpost operating. Bastions of technology in a hostile environment. Production efficiency in outposts is increased. Lovely. Do it. Ah, uh, yeah, this is my second run, sis. Everybody's very unhappy with me now. Can I make you guys happy? Can I, like, fund your projects or something? Okay, hold up. We gotta do a little bit of, um... Here, I'll I'll give you guys... Here, I'll fund your, your, your project. I will promote you. I will... Assign the secret police and improve your standing. For you guys, I would like to mobilize more enforcers. I don't really want to fund all your projects, but sure, that works. Assign the secret police, improve their standing too. And then I would like to take your money. No, no, that was a joke. I will fund your project. I will give you guys agenda. No, Yo, you guys are just fucking pissed off. All right. They don't like me at all. Well, 
I've done my best. I've spent my money. Heat is coming in again, though. And, yeah, we have a surplus once more for temperature, so that's good. We have enough homes. We have heated homes. We have pleasure commons. No, we have pleasure commons. So we're voting on this. Mechanized scouts. We will train scouts to use advanced technology and techniques in order to optimize exploration. That sounds like a great idea. I can't really afford guided voting, though. You guys are my only guided voting, chat. Teach me your wisdom. I am tolerated? Yeah, thank you. I'm glad my stream is good enough for you, Ramble. I mean, you're not saying it's good enough, you're saying it's alright. Like, you're, you're not upset. I... You're not upset at me. It's one, yeah, it's it's one of the streams on, on Twitch. Not passing, is it? Oh, it did, okay. I wish those numbers were updated better with the Twitch extension. Still a little bit buggy. We have such a massive stockpile of this shit. Attention, though. citizens. A new law is in effect. Attention, citizens. 